Hello viewers and welcome to a new episode of your program Winner Salon Morning Discoveries with me Kuna Sisi. Well viewers sit inside the program I deal with the general manager West for transit mission we happen for B and Sumana Bangura. Inside the program today we go talk about within transit mission they all about, within some of the achievements and what they don't make and how their achievements and they don't do for being can development in a salon. Hello and Sumana and welcome to the program. Hello and good morning to you, Kuna. All right. You go tell me a little bit about waiting transit mission they all about. Again, um, transit mission in a, an institution will look at the trend of Sierra Leone. And uh, one thing with the sister Sierra Leone, a country where it gets a lot of young people, and the young people they are full of energy, you know, and they're able for work. But one thing we'll be missing now then young people they are not educated or make sure so they're able for do what they for do for acquire the necessary things they wouldn't forget so transit come about say let's get a college that's the first thing we thought about so we get an institutions we we're not starting our free town we look at the different trend in the country everything seems to be centralized in free town so we go start from where me we go look at the people and says what what do these people want and then we get an institution there. From there we move, go Kanema, and then we go Konon, and so we establish onto Freetown. So transit apparently they move education to the people. Okay, um, when you talk about education, we get different faculties and different sectors in our education. We get skills institutions then, and so on. But which particular sector in our different? Yes, um, one thing it's very important now we do, we do look at the market. That's what we did. The first research that we did, we said, let's start the market. Now, when we go to Zimi, we look at what, what's not the work we're available now for the people. Like, for example, we get one project with government, one go implement now one of them villages. But I want for use electrical, electrical people, you know, available. So pass them, therefore, go to another village or city, you know, for go bring them people there come. And transit look at them, and then we bring experts them way for come and train people them. So we did do both skills and then we did all pay all the academic films. All right. So how long will that take in case Well, I, I would say transit is a baby. Okay. So it's just one year old. But I tell you, within the one year, we don't do a lot of amazing job. Okay. And as the name implies transit, we're moving across the country. As I speak now, we, we can almost get we, we university now in a free town, you know, now Godrich. You know, we're already there in cause. So we don't, we'd already stretched the province and now we become not a big city. All right. Um, let me talk about the people in we make up of transit mission. The people they are their own as Serenians, them, and also when you think about the people in we form transit mission, you can also think about what side and people are they get formed from. Very interesting question. I think this is one thing like you always say in different programs that, you know, if Serenian has to change, it has to come from us, Sierra Leoneans. Okay. We get a lot of responsibility. We get a lot of work for do. So the person with it behind us, all are there in a Sierra Leonean. Somebody who is studying at Sierra Leone and go now to USA and then made a lot of success there and then come back and say, you know what? Let me look at what my people want and then bring and can to the people. So we want to see a lot of Sierra Leoneans, a lot of people within the diaspora for think the same. Because no matter how we do it, you know, Europeans cannot change Sierra Leone for us. They can come and help, but we have to change our story. We have to rewrite that story. So the person behind it is uh, Reverend Steve Manns, based in the United States. You know, and then we get some other people, then we're partners where we work with. But all the staffs are Sierra Leoneans. And we get few now where we incorporate to in our foreign staffs, like we get a partnership with India. You know, as I tell you, in the two months time, we send people in like, India for go study, you know, cinematography and filmmaking and other things. Because we look at what the people want. All right. Earlier on, you mentioned, say, um, people in Sierra Leone, young people in Sierra Leone, we let like, come. Um, willing for do something or get the know-how for do something but then just need education so now decide for going to education um, but then when you look also what are some of the things that we want to see inside the people and young people in a salon we make on say say well let me go into education and now which type of skills training they want to get them i think what we see why we go into education we as i mentioned the people get energy they want for do i take film for case study because me and an entertainer as well. 
So we get a lot of young people who are into filmmaking. They love it. It's a passion. But I tell you, some people don't be in the industry for more than 20, 30, 15 years. But you ask them, what they don't make out of the filming is nothing. And where is our filming? I, uh, some time back, I was in Ghana. You know, I asked somebody about Sierra Leone. They said, outside this country, they or what's in this country to do? If a country like Ghana doesn't know Sierra Leone that much, people in there doesn't know Sierra Leone that much, you will question, what are we doing in the entertainment field? But it's good. So what in people lacking the technical know-how? If you can make movies for Sierra Leone, let's say we're about 7 million population, not that much, you have to cross border. Why the Sierra Leone and other, uh, the Nigeria, Ghanaian are making a lot? Because the movies are crossing borders. They're making money from TV, from other areas. But you make movies in this country, you spend a lot of money. Then at the end of the day, what's going to happen? Your movie is on the garbage path. The next time waiting to happen, you're not going to make a movie again. Because the, the quality of the movie will get sound problem, picture problem, because the equipment are there. What people for operate their equipment there is a very big problem. So what is needed is education. Train these people for know how for operate and things there for do films or things we go cross Sierra Leone. We go go all the same. People appreciate them. So the dynamic we look say, whatever the case may be, we have to look at education first to bring to these young people. If they're educated, they know what in them for do exactly, I think then go be then go know how to approach them. All right, let me talk about the mission and vision behind transit. Well, as I as I tell you, you know, transit one for eradicate poverty. Transit one for bring you know people within a darkness to light, and very important thing one need for bring to you. This is a Christian mission as well. So you know people they into evangelism and other things where would they preach the gospel to people. So that is like a clear mandate. But you know having doing that, you don't have to just target for one set of people. This will look at the country at large. If we want to eradicate poverty, we will not just look at few set of people. We have to look at the general you know, population. We have to look at Sierra Leoneans. And then if you look at the trend of poverty between the rich and the poor, it's a thick reality that the poor is like, it's so much. And forget it from that level to go to rich is very, very difficult. So the mission behind it is all to bring education to people, to eradicate poverty, bring light, you know, from people within a darkness. All right. When you look at the transit mission, you will find out, say, um, according to all what you don't talk about, so you get two big ministries in a salon we involved, the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Tourism. So how not only do for get approval and collaboration from them to ministries? Yeah, of course, um, we are working in hand with the Ministry of Education. That is close because forgetting institutions for make it be legal functioning you get for go through all procedures for register and legality get accreditation you know of course we're in line and would work with the ministry and of course we the affiliate with um, different universities as well so that of course they in line but then with the tourism minister i think now step by step because entertainment now we just launched the entertainment it was it was on august 7th that we launched the multimedia you know which i held a workshop you know, for 30 young, young filmmakers. And uh, as well on the 7th of September, I had another workshop, so 7th to 9th. So being that I'm targeting like young people and I want to make them really, really know what they do, so we do more of training for these people, yeah. All right, when you talk about things that want to do, one go wonder, you know, as you say, a uh, baby, but then, um, as you don't, they also talk to so get things they want to do. So tell me a little bit about the success stories they want to get for sure. It's amazing if you if you take back, for instance, in five, one year ago when transit was lunch. Yeah, you know, guess how many students we started? I think we started with four student, you know, in Zimi. So it was a baby, but we had a clear vision about what we want to bring to the people. So, and this, then people there show say they really need this education. I mean, me and my like travel. Sometimes you go in a province, some certain places in the province. For make your acquire education, you have to move miles. You get probably one secondary school a day or whatever. Then tertiary. Some people even move kind of city just because they want to acquire better education. So what do we do? We start with Zimi, like a small place, like five people, five we, we register, bring good lecturers and train people. And people look at it and say, what? This is what we really, really want in this country, you know? And then we start growing. We start growing. We get 
Today I'm telling you that we're moving our everywhere. If you go corner we are now we main base now. We get a lot of students, big campuses and all. So it is amazing story. And the film world as well, if you think about that, we just come into the film, but as I tell you now, we're prepared for send ten people as well to India. You know, for go study. We we get a we already don't get an affiliation so with Atatont University, you know, an academy in India will be the in connection. And I tell you we'll get for even bring the expert there and Sierra Leone for train people in. So January we'll go send them people there, go to India for go read and study cinematography. So those are amazing jobs. You know, I should uh, say. All right. <laughs> when you take a look at the job market at Salon, you know, people, they go to universities and they go learn skills and all. When they come out, you know, people, they start to grumble about how difficult it be for them to get jobs. So, but I don't think they people there, so, you know, what's in the out there for them? Yeah, I think that's not the one major thing where I feel, say, even in Syria, you know, we lack. We need counselors first before somebody go university or go college. You need somebody for talk to. Yesterday I began a meeting with some people and tell me say the parents and the students they argue which course they for go read. So then side and in which the colleges or maybe the schools then for provide counselors for picking the original level they for make them know what they want for go study. People who go to college or university for go study think same we're not even marketable when they can't get job in Sierra Leone. You know, and also you get a lot of people where they go study certain things. So they come down, they cannot do absolutely nothing. They know nothing. So except we, we employ them, you get for train them again to what you want. You get a whole lot of task for do to them, for make their reach to the level with them for produce. So what in transit they do, they make sure say what you go for train, get the knowledge they very well and impact to the people. So even we employ some staff then because we get offices then, we do a lot of things. We get engineering firm, you know, so transit is doing a lot of things. So when, we, when you, you come from college, then you can do working experience with us and see what is out there for you. That's why we have very attractive jobs that you could go land, trade, and they able to come back and pay back to your country. Okay. The aspect of Onano only they train the, the students, and, but then when they come out, they get um, the advantage from also land now on your farm. You know, when you take a look, a look at the education business as salon, what are your points in a one key area where they make we youth them they come on a college and they see them stagnant and don't get any job for them? Well, I think say you know one thing I can always say I remember I can always like for take myself as a case study. You know if you don't go read something away I don't want to name name cause here because I don't want to name something that somebody study and says this seems to be like waste but I'm just giving a scenario you know if you go study things when I'm really marketable the office self not even the, you know they say office where they employ two three people you know for then job then they so how do you think you would get job so all waiting we need we need for look at waiting Sierra Leone really really need like one thing we need technology we need for common the darkness Sierra Leone is completely you know into that You'll get some, they say, we're still there in the yesterday years, or whatever you call it, some people, and say, you want to come to the new school, for let people really learn advanced things. I can tell, example, like the one that wouldn't push on Molanke. You know, from, you know, born, people they push on Molanke, not so, and will borrow. How on earth we not ever think how for give will borrow a break? How for make like, it just advance from one stage to the other? From dickhead, you know, people are pushing this thing, you know, to break is a problem. Nobody not creative enough to think how do we do this. So this is a level that we have to take. This is a technology world. This is not a thing that you always have to sleep. You have to think outside the box. All right, so it's like um, people, they learn something, but um, not going the hard way. How for learn this thing in the easy way? Uh, well, I don't want to use a, a word hard way. Okay. I think it's, it's more about... You know, having the know how, how to go about them, um, which you learn. Because at the end of the day, if you go learn something, you know, practice that much for able for advancing and um, do more research. And that, that's not the other thing. People need to do a lot of research. Not only which you go learn no more on a blackboard and write, it's not the whole thing. But you get to make a lot of research so that you advance yourself from one level to the other. Right. I think that will really help and save. All right. Well, viewers. That's na Ansumana Bangura, the general manager West for Transit Mission. When I said don't listen, within Transit Mission, they all about and some achievements and what they don't make so far. How they know they do for see that young people them that salon get education and after getting this education, how they go go out there in a salon and benefit the country. We do go for a short break and when we come back, we will talk more about the entertainment sector and transit mission.
Sierra Network is the network that bridges the gap between the diasporas and those within Sierra Leone by providing authentic and factual news on a daily basis. We at Sierra Network Salon take pride in quality and productivity is our utmost priority in service delivery to the communities we serve. We expect and professionalism at all times. Our service to the people of Sierra Leone is paramount in what we do. We constantly strive for innovation and the best that meets the demands of the people in Sierra Leone. Our passion and creativity oversees the work we produce. We work as a team to provide you the best in news, media, comedy, entertainment and all your event coverages. Sierra Network is here to offer you the best. We engage the people to learn about Sierra Leone's culture and history. This is Triple A from Sierra Network. This is Dr. Isitu Kake Jalo from Sierra Network Health Talk and Discovery. This is Ishmahi Dadis Bangura from Sierra Network Comedy and Production. This is Abid Kaloko from Sierra Network Media. This is Sila Kemtakabu from Sierra Network Media. This is Isatu Smai Sisei from Sierra Network Talk to the Camera. This is Kona Sisei from Sierra Network Talk to the Camera. This is Samuel Bright from Sierra Network Media. This is Mohamed Eskabu from Sierra Network Production and Comedy. This is Justice A.M. Tijan from Sierra Network Media. This is Salima Sukaki from Sierra Network Tell Me Salon. Sierra Network Salon, where Sierra Leone is never too far at 56 Campbell Street, second floor, Freetown, Sierra Leone. You can call us at plus 232-77-425637 or plus 1646-610-3107 or visit us on the web at snradio.net or sncfny.org. Welcome back viewers to the program winner Salon Morning Discoveries with me Kona Sisi. And don't forget to say inside the program today I do with Ansumana Bangura, the general manager of West for Transit Mission. When I don't listen as you don't talk plenty about the education sector in the transit mission. Welcome back Ansu. Thank you Kona. Alright, before we go on that break day, you really talk about the education sector, you don't talk about some success stories them. And earlier on you mentioned say when they offer skills them, causes them where somebody go go learn and when you come out you go be somebody successful we not only for benefits in benefit himself but benefit salon as a whole. One go wonder why you not decide for open on your own college, why you not know, go direct on that college then where we get now salon here presently and being on a cause them today. Um Sierra Leone small one go say but a wide we got a lot of people them um, at the extreme place they want to be able for benefit. You go see other country that we get maybe bigger provisions like probably if you're Europe or some country where you get trained like you go travel quickly, one hour take you for go a very big distance. Well, let alone we talk about Sierra Leone here, whereas it's congest the city only. And what about people in the province? They can come to the city to go to Frabe College to go to this big. So you need more people involved coming and investing to education. One thing, like just like this current probably government say, we for go into education, but how we for make these things work? I'm just say everything necessarily is how we complement things that makes it work. So if these other colleges and universities are already existing, I think we're coming from there. It's, we, we, it's the same thing. You know, we're just making sure that we target areas that these universities are not covering. So that's why we start not the province, we start not the extreme places there. We be for saying that we know more day and bring education to the people before we move them um, to there. We, you mentioned about the entertainment sector, but then you this area same way the university they not cover. So now which areas and then they waiting at the core system? Uh, we they see me and the villages them, that's the southern part from Moyamba area and other thing. And we they um, Bumbuna, 
when I went on for main branch as well, and I did nothing part of it and cover. And then with the corner towards the extreme, you know, places them as well. And now we don't they come free town as well. All right. The question is, um, I don't go and then place and and as you see, when they look at the young people them and look at potential we didn't get and educate them on them potentials and they but the causes them we only offer them. When we look at when you go to the pro when Biden Africa mineral and lawn mining come they may look for certain people we you know for be expert in mining or for for do something. Those people were not there. Sierra Leoneans were only employed to do the, the dirty job, I call it, you know, the label. But anything that comes to something that should add them more, they were not there. So we implement something that we say mining mining engineering. With the, with the offer that costs computer science, you know, accounting, agriculture, and some of these attracting things that people can really benefit there. That's, those are the difference. But we can do code across. We do nursing courses and yeah, all sort of stuff. All right, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Let me talk about the entertainment sector. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when you look at Salon, plenty of people can wonder why over the years, it don't take long now, we people in a salon, they listen other countries, their music, they watch their movies, they're going for them and neglect we own salon production them. Why if you say that they have I think the two or three things really responsible. Okay. One major thing has to do with mental, you know, thinking. It has to do with mindset. What do we think about us? You know, one thing we'll come for find out. Before I was I mean they say Sierra Leone movie really just bad, just bad. That's the way I was thinking. Okay, but you know, reality enough that Sierra Leonean also with the improved small small that people to produce some good movies, but it's just that the culture of Sierra Leoneans believe in something that comes out of Sierra Leone. They hail them. If I can see people can sit down to watch foreign movie where maybe if Mickey can watch me with no Bob film, you really go tell you say, wow, why are people really sitting to watch a movie like this? But when they watch a foreign film, then they pay attention to understand the story. But when you watch a Sierra Leone movie, it focus for correct mistakes, where they're not an expert, you know? So we have to change that mentality for support with it we get. Now we get for make with it we get good. None of the country, they are not start well. We, if you watch Indian film before, now they're all movies that you find out, say them very slow for your comfort. You watch in Nigeria and other movies that you know say a lot of mistakes. And even now, there are big films in Hollywood that got many mistakes as well. So if you compare the Nigerian movies, the Indian movies, the mistakes to Salo movie mistakes? Well, you know, I will not compare the two because there's a, there's a very big difference in terms of productivity, in terms of every output that we give. Nigeria way ahead right now in Africa or even going beyond in terms of equipment, professionals, and even the whole, if one Lagos just supports you, then you don't make money for your entertainment. So that's now one thing. Then the next level, where it comes to the people, and it comes to we, the filmmakers. People then get for Lancet and go for take this as a job. This is not a child's play. You don't go in a one two production, you do it by one two movie, the next day you call one two three people and say you're not a director, you're not a writer, you're not this. You go write and get a people and then go shoot with phone, then go shoot with any other kind of thing. So you they just kill the industry. And the way you ready, you want for market system the industry. Where people watch one bad movie, now bad movies the impact is so much that people where they put a lot of money into movie not able to realize anything because people they go with now one mistake. So I don't watch this movie, this movie be so bad, sound safe or not get. And one thing where people get for focus to movie, a few things, picture quality, very important, sound. If you, you sound very bad, people cannot just watch. And you do watch a lot of Sierra Leone movies, these are the two things that we're struggling with. People cannot give sound. And also the light thing, how for light you set. In my training, what do we get somebody who is from India? We be we be talk about lighting your set, you know, how for detail and to the point where you get forget everything. Oh, how much people able for actually do that in Sierra Leone? No, no, plenty. So everybody they jump into jobs. So what we need in Sierra Leone education. Right, people so need for go learn proper what they need for do for make they able for produce the best. All right. So it is right for say people they jump into entertainment without they not learn about them first. Yes. Yeah, that's but but many people can talk say why Nigeria and other countries and produce movies they wouldn't like that because they can actually spend for the movies them and the characters them, you know, they're well experienced. What you go say about that? I think uh, partially no one will agree to watch that uh, because uh, then they spend for the movie. You know, we get different types of films the way people they do. We get very low budget films where you can do all over the world. It's not about money, it's about telling a story. And people are more particular about telling a story, but how you tell the story, that's what counts. 
So it's not about how much sometimes you put. Yeah, movie, it's, 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 it's money. You have to really pay cast. But now, how many productions do they pay actors? Not only pay them, just to take them from Bule, what are you ready for? Do you go put an asset? In other countries, then the same thing is happening. But I tell you, in other countries, you get a lot of production as well that are doing some, some kind of movies. But you have like the Nollywood in Nigeria. We cover the face of the whole Nigeria and produce a high quality. That now we're in Sierra Leone feel for do. We're not able for coming together, for make we sell the country image. Everybody prefer for them on your side. Everybody they claim supremacy. Now that make we transit kind of first thing we say, we don't want to fight. We're shouldering with people. We want everybody to come on board. We want to work with people. So we bring entertainers on board and say, let's train, let's work together, let's get this go right. You know, there's one thing I always believe in, Fim. There's, there's no right way, I can say. There's no right way. If you're not a leader, you don't you did know, say, there are so many ways to achieve your success. Somebody go use this path, somebody go use that path, but we'll only achieve the same. You know, so people get for no say other people the knowledge also count very important. Let one man not sit on his own side things and then get all the knowledge if you don't pass through him. That means say waiting and they do and discriminate and other thing oppose waiting what they do. Let's love what we're doing and let's add value to it. Let we value we actors, we value we directors them, we technical people as well. Get a lot of ethics for land. Right. You go invite a technical somebody for gonna set, then we'll come one, two hours later. So that is all the big problem, and we have to take, we have to respect, you know, what we get for make way for progress, definitely. Right. Okay, let me talk about some achievements in the industry aspects, you know. Transit Mission don't produce movies so far? I'm not yet. As I say, Transit Mission a baby. Okay, it was only three months ago that the movie starts, that we start operating a production house. Before we only concentrate, okay, to get people to education, the college and the mission. That's what we focus. And three months ago, we launched the, the, the multimedia aspect of it. And where we start, we don't start with films. We start with training. We want to go back to that basic and get it right where the problem is. We, we, we conducted the research. We go out and talk to actors, directors, we go down the street and talk to the people, what are their problems? We have those documentaries. What else would ask the people, like you go down Abacha Street and ask, what are your takes about Australian film? What do you think is another problem? What do you do watch? Which film you like for watch? Those people tell us, why are they watching Australian and films? So we need to get things right. And getting it right, I think it has to involve research. It has to involve like survey, going around and talk to people. And people don't give we findings. We're putting these things together. We get with four second thought training. And now we want to advance the training to another level before we think about producing. So we taking it as aspect, not create group one day. The next day we're gonna jump, go to set, go begin for shoot. This is not what Sierra Leone need at all. We need for plan, structure. That's why people jump. At the end of the day, what's no sustainability. You know, one week, two weeks, when I do one movie, everybody don't scatter. Nothing when I not get. We try for register first, now the different side of for registers the production out, and then we start forget we train in there, we start for employ, recruit people and bring them come to the team and now we're pushing with the team. Okay. Yeah. Yes, um transit mission they deal with academics and also they deal with entertainment. Then we talk about some challenges that we on the face, especially we get for doing the fact that on the manage both sectors. I think the one challenge for certain other province you get for say is something that has to do with resource. For people for pay for courses, it's a tough challenge. You know, whether or not the province, because everything seems for centralized in a, in a free town to a point that you don't get many job, you know, facility in the province. So people are not working. So at the end of the day, if you're going there, you really have to make sure that your, 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 your tuition fee is low and you give more scholarships. We're giving a lot of students scholarships, you know, just because we want to make them get education. So that's the level we're moving because the challenges like furniture and all the things, these are all challenges time to time you have to use. And we want to make it so creative that the people them, it's not just about the building, it's not just about everything, but let's create something that we can make people educate. You know, so we bring the expats in there and let's, let's just find whatever, whatever we can do and let's, let's make people educate. You know, that's, that's what we're doing. So numerous challenges and a lot of people they can't always say, ah, oh, well, I saw some people then start. You know, Sierra Leone, it's all about this. People think you're starting that, they come and see what you're doing. And at the end of the day, you know, they'll always go back and say, try this pulling down syndrome, try to really trap people. Work with a positive mindset and then we go with everyone we incorporate people we like people criticizing us we bring them close because we want to hear those critics we're learning from our mistake but there are a lot of challenges so we calling on people to join us all right you know uh, what you mentioned say the people in we didn't have the province then they 
they not get money for pay. You know, one go wonder for somebody we not day on scholarship, yeah? How much it go cost them for go study the engineering aspect, the mining engineering? Yeah, so I think that's that could be part of the, the other discussion we'll get for in terms of tuition fee and other things. But yeah. everything there, we get numbers them out where you go contact and, and then you go reach somebody where you go talk to, where you go deal with an aspect there in particular. But I think we cause them very reasonable, I can tell you, where we make sure so we cater for the people. Then. We don't look at, say, we know this is not city, this is not where you get all the jobs. This is the province. We have to look at something that works for the people. That's why people are making use of it. I told you we start with just four students or so, and then we're flying. A lot of people are coming in. So that means people appreciate what we're doing and they embrace it. And that's what we want to see. You All know, right. go. So going forward, what are some of the plans with Transit Mission get for the ending of 2021 to 2022? <laughs> and what do the people for expect from us? Yeah, that is big. We, we always, you know, transit, transit, we dream very, very big for Sierra Leone. You know, in terms of um, the, the education aspect, we want to make sure say, we dinner every region as possible. And, uh, but specifically, we want for staff to operate in the city as well, because now we get challenges for operate here. You know, but we're working on those things. And make sure say, we continue for upgrade you know, and internationally, because now we're stretching already, we start, you know, online calls as well. So people from different sides of the, of the world go study transit. You know, we already get forget a branch now, the Gambia already the setup now as we talk, you know, and Nigeria, Ghana, and some other places already they in calls now. So we are moving. So, I mean, that's what, that's the level we're taking it. So, right. so finally, waiting at the recommendations, the message where you go left out there for movie directors, People where they act movies and also to people then we go on for kind of learn that kind of situation. To every young people I would say this goes to you. I think the first thing where people get for do you get for get a clear vision about your life. If you don't get a clear vision within in front of you, you're heading nowhere. If you don't plan yourself, then say the world will plan you. So the first thing is you have to know what you want to do. And don't keep these things in your head. Write them in a paper. Wake up in the morning, look at that paper and see how you go about these things to achieve it. It's not magic that we see some people in the succeed today. You know, yesterday we done we anniversary, yesterday we began an anniversary Thanksgiving. One of the, what I tell the young people them is, we always think what you want for become. You didn't have a different feel you to think for become Cristiano Ronaldo. You don't admire Cristiano Ronaldo everything. Think about your own life. Think about your vision, what I want for do and how realistic is this vision. No things I want to forget the most how Cristiano Ronaldo gets you in a salon, you know, even get stats. Think about realistic vision and start for work with your vision and stop the blaming thing. I come on a poor background, I come on at this. This doesn't count anymore. You are young people now. Think about your plan, think about your goal. So to every filmmaker, anybody who wants to jump into the entertainment field, it's not only a milk you go get there. It's a walk. Take it serious. You have to wake up in the morning and think about it. If you're a writer, time to time you have to research. Not think and go watch a movie and just copy-paste. You know, you say you go put them back on the, the screen. Research about the story that you want to tell the people. And let the story reflect to something that has to do with the young people generation or something they have to bring. These are things that we see really now we for pick up. Let's start writing our own story. But so far you see a lot of stories that are not really in story. They're not telling the young people what to do. So that's why I want to tell every filmmaker, focus on what you want to do. Improve yourself, not be static. Not say because as I be used camera and I didn't know more they left. Camera and improved every day, every time. Improve with it. Software and improve every day, every time. So let's learn to improve ourselves and make sure what we're doing, we respect it. I think we can able to change. All right, so if somebody wants to make an inquiries on how much it could cost for go study in a transit mission or for can join on a movie production, how we could do for the people? Uh, you the kind of we office in a 34 Pike Street, Freetown, um, opposite prison canteen. Then you go getaway and you go you know, discuss anything for, for transit. You know, we open to everybody. Fee makers, we're open. We get flyers them out, we get things them out where you need for, but just kind of we office on Pike Street. Then you're able to get any information where you want. All right, let me thank you to you. And to Mana Bangura, will you join me inside the program? Thank today? you very much, Connor. All right. It's a pleasure. To every Sierra Union, both old and young, we listen and watch me. 
Um, the message we answer the left with on our today, now that today we start for right we own stories. And I also today we go draw the cut in Kandong Party program. And the person where you just listen and watch now answer Mana Bangura, the general manager West for transit mission. And we've been the program country today, my name na Kona Sise. So today we meet back to a new episode of Salon Morning Discoveries. I see Tata. Mm -hmm.